awesome neighbor is here doing dirt work for us. We're finally getting the drain ditch done for our root cellar. We did a bunch of leveling and the footer by hand, and boy, that was enough. Well, that's, a, that's a scoop there, look at that. Nice. What do you think about this, Joseph? You think it's cool? Joseph's just enamored with this digging. How far he's made it so far. And here we hit a rock. He's having to scratch through that rock. This is my surveyor's level that we're shooting this with, or you can call it a dumpy level. Jeff Lawton called it a dumpy level. Works for me. This is what I shot that whole swell with, 175 foot long swell. All right, y'all. We, we had lunch together, my wife, my awesome wife transitioned having Eric here and uh, we sat down and had a really nice lunch together such a blessing Eric is doing this he's offered to do this for free and uh, just so humbled by that and thankful getting this root cellar in is a big deal for us this has been a project that's been ongoing for three years Ouch, three years I guess but yeah, getting this root cellar in would be like a huge weight, you know, lifted. Got all my chillers running around, having a great time, but don't worry, y'all. They are staying away from the machine. So don't worry, but don't fret about that. We've laid down the ground rules, and we're watching them. So they are staying away from the machine. That's a very dangerous thing. So they can, they can watch, but they have to watch from a distance. Another quick update. What's nice is because it's graded, it is already going downhill. So as he goes, he, he doesn't have to go as deep. Even though this whole thing's running downhill, there's a drop or a fall to this. into some more rock.
Made it almost to the creek. Rock wall, there's the creek. It's like another 20 feet and there it is. Trench is dug now, just getting the piping laid. And it'll be time to backfill. All right, I was talking to Carrie about the root cellar and when we actually started this project. This summer coming up will actually be four years. So it's very close to four years ago we started this root cellar project. So this would be so great to get done. Imagine having something big like this on your project list for four years. When we thought it was gonna be done in just like a couple months. It's been a burden. It's been really, really has been a burden for us. All the things that, that we start and we think are going to be done, and maybe in many cases we're told by other people that we've hired that it's going to be done, you know, in a couple months, and it just lingers and takes way more money than was projected. So here we are working on the root cellar. We've got this pipe secured, and you know what, let me see what length this is. Okay, so from the root cellar there, the end, all the way down there, it's 80 feet. Okay, so let me show you what I did at the very end and then explain some of the stuff that you really that you really have to do when you're doing something like this. So the root cell is what we want to drain, right? So this pipe has to have a rate of fall the whole way. If it comes up in any spot, if it's running uphill at any spot, that will stop the water from draining. Simple concept, right? Easier said than done though. When you dig this out, it's very, very uneven. It's not level. So you need to lay your pipe, make sure it has a rate of fall, then support the pipe along the way so that when you come in and get, get huge scoops of dirt with the machine, it doesn't make the pipe bow. If the pipe bows, then it's gonna be going uphill on this side it's going to be going uphill here, and that's it. The water will stop in that bow, and then possibly even back up. So we had to go along here, so now I can literally walk on this whole pipe, and it won't go down, because we've dug out and supported. There's only little gaps where there's nothing under the pipe, and that's just, that's fine. I can actually walk on this whole pipe, and it won't go down. The end of this pipe, actually, on the sides, near the bottom, there's weep holes. So we piled it with rocks here on both sides so the dirt can't fully clog those weep holes. Then at the very end, underneath this pile of rocks on the very end of the pipe is a screen. When we backfill it, when we take this dirt and backfill this, the dirt can't get into the end of that pipe and clog it up. You can see the screen now. Right here screen is covering the whole end of that pipe and then we're putting all these rocks in here so that when we backfill it with the dirt the dirt doesn't just clog that end so now water can always run out of here all right so next is actually just backfilling this with the machine Woohoo!
Rothwell's been here for what, three years? Yeah. Finally getting to bury it. I can't believe that the root cellar is this far along. This is so awesome. A four year long project, making big progress on it. Yeah, good so work cool. today. And Eric, our neighbor, man, you know to use that machine. I ran the machine myself and did all the backfilling. Eric came and jumped on it and made all my terrible work look pretty. Because <laughs> he's a lot better on it than I am. And uh, so thankful. Thank you so much, Eric, for all the work that you did. Uh, a whole day's worth of work, helping to dig that thing and pipe and all that, and then coming and, and also letting me use your machine. Thank you, brother. Sure appreciate you. And thank you, all you folks, our subscribers, and those who are just viewing this because you're interested in root cellars or French drains. Thank you for watching. Whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. <laughs>